Hey there guys, my name's Agent Brano and we're back with Conquering Grad Tech and this is episode 7. Now the tree farm is working perfect. I had to change to oak logs because basically with fur, if they don't get chopped like halfway, they'll chop the first two blocks, logs, but then as it starts going up it messes it and then he doesn't actually cut the rest of the tree and it just sits there idly. Then I have to come along with my actual streamer and cut the tree down. So that was kind of a pain. Um, everything's working. At the moment I'm putting... If we just turn the sound down, sorry. I am on peaceful so let's change that because my tutorials. Uh, so at the moment I'm just automatic. I'm just putting bone meal in there. Now I do want a skeleton mob, mob farm. So... I was thinking of trying to be a bit compact about it and maybe just shoving it in this wall, ripping the wall out, taking a bit of the wall out and just shoving it straight inside the wall. Seems like I have the item test rack here I can just attach and then I can say, you know, arrows are getting voided and whatever else I want to get voided, you know, bows or something like that. So I have the skeleton shard, it's up in there. Now you see up there in that corner, we have the yellow glowstone lamps. Now that's the sort of idea I'm going to do. Now I'm not sure if eventually, you see this here, where we have like the bit here. Maybe I do a pattern or something, I'm not sure with the glowstone lanterns. I love the glowstone lanterns. They're a bit difficult to turn on because you have to right click them with the crescent hammer as you're placing. But I'm going to get it done eventually. But the topic for today is getting the skeleton farm doing so we're getting a load of bones. And I want to put red net in the system. And in the future, when we have a part of logistics down here, because we're going to have a whole automation factory within the walls where we can come in and access, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the walls to my advantage, use the ravine to my advantage, and a couple more plans. Maybe in a couple of episodes from now, we're going to have harvesters. Now, I'm going to try go with... An upgrade is about a 9x9 nine nine size, or 10x10, 10 10, something like that. I thought I'd turn void fog off. Fog's off. So why is it... Ah. we still got the animations. Can we turn off... Uh, void particles off. There we go. That's better. Right. So, skeleton farm's going behind there. Bones automatically going into the item tesseract. Done. Well, going to be done soon. Soil shards ready. Um, I changed my zombie one into a witch. So, next is skeleton. And we're actually, in the future, we're going to have some sort of tank area. Now, I was just thinking of Halloween, you know, like here, where this is here. It's going to be a skeleton. Maybe something else on top, maybe something else on top, something else on top. Then which here. Uh, and then maybe what we'll do is when we get applied energetics in here, level emitter. So say to the redstone signal, uh, when we have 10,000 glowstone, turn off. When we have 10,000 bones, turn off. Now with the tree farm, where the fertilizer is, it's going to have, um, it's going to have a precision export buzz, not a, not a basic export buzz, a precision and what that's going to do is a precision export buzz is going to say you know if space and if space and inventory you know craft craft bone meal and it's going to have the and it's going to have that and so we need to build a molecular assembly chamber what a molecular assembly chamber is is sort of a big box with places that you can put patterns in now that's how that's how part of the logistics works works our patterns uh, for your crafting recipes. So we'll do that. So the main focus for today is skeleton farm, which I'm going to build now. Get it all in. Uh, just neaten this off with some of these bricks. Maybe maybe I've got some um, glowstone lanterns going outside of there just to brighten this area up. But nothing can spawn here anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then, yeah. So we'll do the skeleton farm. Then I think 
And what I'm going to do, instead of having all the A system right down here for now, this will accept infantry from an ender chest, I believe. Now, it accepts from a normal chest, so hopefully it does it an ender chest. Take a bit of drinks, clean the throat. So, ender chest there, ender chest up there, with an export buzz saying, you know, we want bone meal going into there. Then we make the crafting system. So, how about I go and get ready, get some materials, build that skeleton farm, and then we'll be right back. So, guys, I'll see you in a sec. Well, hopefully we have the skeleton farm and i'm going to try and make these videos a little bit shorter for you guys and with me doing them a little bit shorter i can upload a bit more frequent so anyway guys thank you very much for watching we'll be back in a sec when the skeleton farm is done okay guys so done the skeleton farm after a little bit of testing works perfect only thing i need set up for getting voided is the well the arrows are getting voided is the bows the bows so you can see i've already got like a shitload of stuff here so right now we just need to put in this glass now i am going to put some glowstone illuminators down the side of here so it should light up here eventually but we're not too worried about this now the glass i'm choosing is hardened glass um so it's a bit stronger than normal just in case the creeper spawns inside there because i'm going to leave it dark and uh you know kills us sort of thing so they aren't connected textures, but it doesn't really matter. So, let's keep doing this. And I'm going to need to turn on and then do this. Oh, come on. Why don't you place it? Ah! Do this quick. It's gonna take ages break. Then we can place that. So let's turn our sound on a little bit. And you can see it's working now, so all we have Oh actually, I actually haven't put any water in there ever. But they're getting killed. They're definitely getting killed. The mob essence we at the moment we're going to void it going to avoid it at the moment actually let's just see let's just see if we can get one of these guys full do the carry on working the seven grinders need to a bit of crafting to do but it's not too bad so let's type grinder and i'll show you grind it it's not that bad it's just like gold swords or something like that i can't remember exactly where i crafted because i crafted straight after episode last episode but then uh, two days uh, later i got a bit busy so show me the recipe please there we go so just 10 gears gold swords and that's the only you know the 10 gears that's the most expensive bit but i got i got a shit ton of that anyway yep i knew where you had a sign right so that's working they're getting sent uh i need to go and check my applied energistic system to check if i've got any more stuff now the only improvement i'm going to need to do is add water at the back but i'll do that off episode right next thing we need to do is go ahead and make ender chests for the bone meal supplying. Is this guy out of power? Ah, you're at bone meal. There we go. We also I'm not sure we're gonna do this ep this this episode on or next episode. We need to set up a way of basically all the wood we get burning it all. Getting rid, getting rid of it totally. So, okay, that's still working. So let's see if we got any bows. No bows. That is good. But we got bones. Ooh, sorry about that. Do we have any wool in the system? We haven't got no wool in the system, but we do have. Oh, pardon me. 
wall over here. Right, ender chests. We're going to make two ender chests. But then we also need to make that molecular assembler. Now for this, instead of using tesseracts, I might actually just use the ender tanks. What? Okay, let's see. I'll sip a drink. So it's going to require some ender pills. I probably don't have any sitting in the system, so let's make some. Uh, I've, uh, where's me minium stone? Sixteen will be enough. Minium stone with me, and click. And do that. So, what are you missing? What are you missing? What are you missing? Oh, chest. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, no, actually. Got any planks? So, we need two ender chests. So, let's just make. Yeah, let's just make two. Two of them. I made three. We might as well make four then. Since I made three. Just put this back in the system. And then under chest. Can you wait this time? Yeah. So four under chests. They're not going in the system because we don't have enough room. Okay. So that'll be sorted eventually. I just need to get rid of a load of these fair logs and birch logs and we've got any spruce in there. Probably not. But there's some stuff we can get rid of like rocky princesses and things like that. We also have ore berries. We could actually start our ore berry farm next episode. I've got a tutorial for that which I'll pop up soon. Um, crafting monitor, I'm just going to place you here. Right, now we've got the ender chest right, but we need to make the molecular assem assembly chamber. So what I'm going to do is go on the wiki, find out exactly what we need, and then be back, and then we'll get the auto crafting started. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so we're back. Uh, I've just made a load of parts for this uh, next machine we need. It's called a molecular molecular assembly machine so basically what this does is you apply the energy sticks you can store patterns now your patterns are like your have I made too much? no they're like your NEI so we're basically storing recipes so the system knows you know if I have this recipe I have to well I can craft using this pattern so yeah that's done now I'm not sure uh, let's make some don't have any ME cable on me see if we've got any cable we have a bit just a tad now I think we have to get this attached so Will that do it? No. That will though. So that can come up and attach. Okay. So in here we need a pattern. So the pattern we're going to use, we could use a pulverizer, but I'm just going to use it with bones. The pattern we're going to use is one bone gives free bone meal and code. Okay. So here we placed our crafting recipe. Now we should see, if we talk it to craftable, we can craft bone meal. Okay. Now break this end of chest, put it here on purpose, and we we'll just put this back. Yep. Put that back, and then we where's the end of chest? Put the end of chest here. Now I set this here to craft. 
Now we sh what we should start seeing is all the items are being crafted and put straight into the end chest. Now eventually we'll have a wall of these where we have desert recipes going to different chests to transport items. Because they're easier, you can just, on this bit here, um, do we have any lapis? Let's change. So I'm going to grab two lapis and on one of these I'll just take that out so I can jump up on the middle one I'm going to place a lapis now I'm going to do the same with this chest because this chest now what? ah this is starting to fill this chest up but we'll see when we place this here what? have I just deleted a load of items? Yeah, I think I caused a bug where if you have items in an ender chest and then you change it to some f another ender chest that has items, it will then destroy the items in the chest instead of combining the two together. Am I in peaceful? <sighs> God, there you go, let's go out peaceful. Okay, so now over here. We're going to place this end of chest on the back of here. And what should happen should. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Though there is another way I can do it. Does it not pull from end of chest? Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll pause and I'll think of something and we'll come back. Okay guys, so... As my, one of my machines has just started attacking a bat, I swear. So, that's not working as expected. Doesn't matter though. Uh, what we're going to do is place our end of chest here. I believe that's a work. Then a wooden transport pipe onto the top of that. And then for now a redstone engine. Eventually I'll get it figured out. I might just do it after episode. Just so we can get the episode done. You know, so it's done. So it isn't too long for you guys. So that now should pull from the end of the chest and put in the fertilizer. So it should put it in straight into the fertilizer. There we go. And these, the way this uses bone meal, I don't think the redstone engine will ever keep up with the actual machine. So we might just keep it like this. We may just keep it like this. See, it's not even cutting. It's cutting the trees down before this goes in. So I really can't see a problem with that. So, what's next episode? What we're going to do next episode? Well, I think next episode we've got a tree farm there. It's nice and small. It works. Does the job. But next episode, I want to get I want to get our glowstone lanterns done. So I'm going to craft them while I'm rendering this video, and get. You can see I've done the strips there. I did need to do the strips there and strips in that corner, which I might not do. But what we're going to do? One, I'm going to pick an area. I'm going to drop the floor down a couple of levels. Well, actually, no, I'll keep it on this level. And I'm going to put in a couple of layers. So we could probably fit. So we're on level 5, 6. So we can go from 6 and then 5, maybe 6 up. So you go 6 to 12, to 18, to 24, to 30. And then go up and we could have like 5 different farms, which are farm food. And the food will be stored and you know and we'll do that. So we'll have some different farms going on. I'm thinking of going with cotton so I can auto craft wool. And definitely gonna go with wheat because I can use wheat uh, in many different recipes. Uh, I can use it for a lot of things. I want seeds, seeds definitely for seed oil. And I want to start getting more into thermal expansion machines and forestry machines, so for that I'm going to need this. I'm going to need lots of seeds. So, yeah. 
Next episode, we'll get a couple of farms running. And we're going to use the farms, the ones that mostly get seeds. So carrots not going to bother, potatoes not going to bother. So we'll probably go with barley, wheat, and cotton. So I'll leave it at that for now, guys. I'll go cutting them seeds and start getting things ready. And I think we'll also have a system where we just do use that bone meal as well. And we'll do it that way. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. And yeah, if you want to help support the channel, leave a like. It just helps get my Minecraft videos a lot better noticed on uh, YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.